Now during the curved approach, we're looking to maintain that nice upright running position and those front side running mechanics ready for the takeoff. And we're looking to take that speed from the linear approach into the takeoff so we can convert that horizontal speed into vertical height in the jump. So we know that once we've done our takeoff and once we're in the air, whatever we were doing before the takeoff is what's going to continue to happen in the air. So we need to make all of those rotational forces happen using our curve. Now, if we get it right, we should come in at a final approach angle of around 30 degrees to the bar. But more importantly, the curve allows us to have this forwards momentum, which is going to take us along the bar. We've also come in from this linear approach, so we're, we're, and we've got this centrifugal force trying to push us off the curve. And as we come off the ground, this is going to throw us over the bar. But also because we're running around in a circle, as we come off the bar, off the ground, we're going to continue on that circle and rotate through the air. So it's the three of these forces, these three angular momentums, that helps us to create our, our flop technique. So we're not trying to force that turn off the ground and force that arch shape off the ground. What we're trying to do is set up a curve and run that curve effectively so that as we come off the ground, all that shape happens for us.